Hi friends, this is Seema here and uh, today I am going to do another DIY craft supplies video and uh, I have seen a lot of uh, uh, people use texture paste and uh, stone texture paste. Uh, however, uh, I wanted to use it and I did not have it at home so I decided to make it myself. Uh, so before I shared it with you guys, I wanted to experiment it. Uh, and uh, so I made it already. I'll be showing you how I made it uh, again today. But uh, I will. I will just want to. Sh I wanted to show you the result of uh, what I made. So this is in the middle of the experiment. You can, if you want to finish like this, you can actually go ahead and uh, uh, leave it at this stage. But I wanted it a little more rough. This is more smooth for me. So I went ahead and added more sand and this is what I have been left with and it doesn't rub off, it doesn't wash off, it is almost permanent. In fact it is permanent if I don't have to and it will take water also not a problem. So um, and if you, you can add a matte varnish to it so that it can re, uh, you know become waterproof. So without further ado let me just go ahead and go in, get into the video. So this is the paste that I made yesterday. I keep these bottles from food deliveries to store these pastes. So this is how I've stored it. This is the paste that I made. How I made it is very simple. Of course you can go ahead and uh, use fevicol and sand together and that would also do. But uh, I realized that uh, only fevicol and sand uh, keeps it a little bit watery and gives it a more glossy like finish so i decided to use matte medium so hold on a sec i'll just get my matte medium here i have my matte medium and a little bit of glue just to add to the strength of it i will add a little bit of glue I'm making very little in quantity. Obviously, you can make and keep. I would suggest don't keep it for very long. So make it as you go and use it as you would, uh, you know, as you need it. And the next, the last ingredient we need is the sorry sand. Now this sand uh, can be. Uh, I'm using a natural colored sand here. You can color your sand if you want to. But I not needed this that natural sand is available at most craft stores, I'm sure. And all you need to then do is just mix it up. Now, there you go. I think still think I can add more sand to it because it will again become very gluey right but I can leave it at that as well so this is the texture you get and it's so simple and once it dries it will dry clear you can add a little more sand as you can see it is it is this color here which looks very muddy but then when it dries it comes to its natural color so uh, it dries the glue or the whiteness that you see in this paste will go away as soon as you add the what do you call it? Uh, as it dries so I'm just going to add this to this because I want to keep all the texture paste together and uh, that's it i hope you uh, you can use it on bottles you can use it on your mixed media projects to add texture um, to give it a stone finish and uh, i hope you enjoy this video and if you did please do not forget to give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching my videos to all my subscribers Thanks a lot for all the encouragement that you've been giving me and uh, your likes and comments help me 
मेक मोर वीडियोज एंड हेल्प यू आउट सो थैंक्स अगेन फॉर वॉचिंग आई सी यू सून हैव अ ग्रेट डे बाय